our textbooks of absolutely fundamental I think to the teaching of a number of, of different students not least al those um, in allied health professionals clinicians I think certainly when Michael Gibney had the idea of the textbook series that combination of sort of introduction to human nutrition really setting the scene nutrition and metabolism really going through how key nutrition is to whole body metabolism to you know metabolic processes is within the body and then public health nutrition and clinical nutrition really trying to capture those in a wider context of of health those professions allied to medicine and then obviously with clinical nutrition there is a fundamental focus on aspects around diet and, and management of a whole range of different diseases and if you look at that textbook actually that's our uh, largest one um, currently public health and nutrition second edition which we will have out next year is is about the same length if not slightly longer and they are if you look at the authors that have written each of those chapters they are public health and nutrition experts they are clinicians who are working at the coal face of, of absolutely the work and so I think it's it's really a must for certainly clinicians who, who are interested in the dietary management of their patients and 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 that whole advance of how critical nutrition is to key public health issues diabetes obesity all of those different aspects would be covered in a combination of those books I think the science has always been com complicated. I think nutritional sciences stands on its own as a very top level science subject. It's not a soft science. I think as people po possibly thought that it was just about cooking, you know, 50 odd years ago, it's so much more than that. And at where I think it's changed is that through the research that we're doing, you know, and I think the UK really leads the world in the nutritional sciences research that we do and the publications that come from that. I think as we research more and we get to know more, often you'll do a piece of research and it asks more questions than it answers. And I think as people have come to appreciate that the biggest public health problem it is obesity secondary to that is diabetes if if indeed not overtaking it and nutrition is fundamental you know to that i think also within the textbooks we try to always have a, a coverage of physical activity as the other side of the energy balance equation we will have aspects and obviously our sport and exercise nutrition textbook really addresses where nutrition fits into the portfolio of you know a physical activity you know research and the importance of exercise whether it's at a competitive level or you know trying to help individuals you know maintain a, a healthy you know body weight yes i'm the editor-in-chief it's a great privilege you know for me to hold this role for the society michael gibney asked me to do it in in 2009 and i've enjoyed every every part of it you know it's a, it's an honorary capacity of course for the nutrition society which is just such a wonderful organization but i do have a day job um i'm professor of human nutrition at the university of surrey and i head up the department of nutritional sciences so that's my sort of main role i do a lot of research into nutrition and osteoporosis over the last nine years or so I have focused a great deal on vitamin D and then I sit on the government's um, scientific advisory committee on nutrition SACN so that also keeps me busy